Okay, VAT, here's how to set up to do your tablet portrait drawing. File new. You're going to title this something. Tablet portrait or something like that so you can find it later. You want to make it 7 inches wide, 5 inches high, 300 resolution. You are then going to file place wherever your image comes from. I think I have the young Frankenstein images here which I'll load in. If you need to hold down shift and stretch from a corner, do that. Only stretch from a corner. Hit enter to apply the stretch. You're going to go over to your layer palette, lower the opacity down about halfway. You're going to then lock that layer by clicking the little lock button and add a new layer by clicking the new layer button. You're only going to work on layer one. You're going to select your brushes over on the right hand side there's all your brushes, there's a million options. I expect you to kind of go through and try out some different options. If you want to just start by kind of fuzzy painting, you can select the fuzzy 30 and just lay in some values first. So I would strongly suggest you lower opacity way down, lower flow way down, zoom in, and just start to shade. A lot of the Photoshop artists shade by just sort of blending and smudging. I suggest you do this as opposed to trying to outline everything. The pictures aren't that great and you're going to be happier with the results. If you feel like it's too dark, you can lower the opacity even more and finish the blending. Once you've got more of the details in, and of course, you can always be checking this by going over to your I button on this layer and checking how you're doing with values. Then you can start to add more detailed brushes, maybe erodible pencils, and kind of trying to do some of the more detailed edges. You can also shade by scribbling if you want to just kind of do scribble shading to add some textures and hair. You can play with some of these fun brushes that create sort of scratchier textures. And then you can do um, some of these sorts of scratchier lines. There's a million infinite possibilities, a million infinite specifically. Add textures this way. So it's really open to you however you want to start to shade, build up layers and create this value portrait. Ideally at the end you should be able to turn off this layer and we should see your drawing. Don't forget to save.